uh, welcome to our work titled the large large model compression by iterative uh, efficient pruning and distillation. Uh, I'm Molly Wang from City University of Hong Kong. Uh, this is a joint work with my uh, three mentors, the uh, Chen Yizhuang from on the group, uh, Ruo Shengguo from uh, Peter Dance, and uh, Xiang Yizhuang from City University of Hong Kong. And uh, uh, this is the work uh, I done in my during my research internship and on the group. Uh, let's step into the background part. Uh, the background is that uh, the, the usage of uh, large language model has uh, enhanced a lot of uh, the uh, industrial uh, situations in the other group, like the short video recommendation. We have uh, have a great enhancement, and also we uh, also get some uh, some increment in the advertisement generation video content classification and total voting. <coughs> Sorry, topic of voting. So the usage of large line multi model has resulted in a great enhancement in the business performance of our group. But there are two pro. But there are two problems. Oh, hello. The f <laughs> Maybe I use this. Oh, this is better. Uh, the first is that the increased latency about uh, the usage of large multi model models because some of our scenarios cannot accept such a long uh, in latency of uh, uh, the multi the large models. And the second is the energy uh, consumption. As you know, the green AI is always the purpose of our, of the, our group. So we need to compress it. We need a small one to in the real world usage. So we, but we do not want to sacrifice the performance. So we need to compress it. But there are three challenges for compressing the model. The first is that we, we are, the retraining is cost, cost prohibitive. So we need to use the parameter in her retage strategies in the compression. And the redundancy of the large models is multi-level because uh, the model is so large, so the redundancy is everywhere. So we need to indicate where is the redundancy. So we need to use a multi-stage uh, strategy. And the second one is that the so all of these models are uh, sequential generation models, not the uh, not the classification model. Uh, <coughs> sorry. Um, so um, so the distillation loss may be distillation loss must be carefully designed, and we design we, we design a. Uh, new distillation laws to uh, ensure the smooth uh, training of the, our our uh, compression. Let's step into our our uh, framework. Our framework is, uh, and you can say, is a multi-stage uh, compression frameworks with uh, well-designed distillation laws. Uh, the first, uh, let's step into the first stage. The first stage is the block st block pruning. The block means that. Uh, uh, the, as you know, the large models have a lot of blocks, so we need to remove this block redundancy in advance. The block pruning means that we remove the last block uh, each and each step, and then we distill it to enhance its uh, knowledge, and we continue to remove it uh, uh, step by step. And uh, uh, if the the performance drop dramatically, then we stop it and step into the second stage. The second stage is intermediate module dimension pruning because in each block, we have a feed-forward neural network and an attention unit. So in the, for the hidden dimension, uh, we, we, we prove the hidden dimension here. Uh, as you know, the, the, the the removement uh, but uh, the hidden dimension is different from blocks. Uh, yeah. And uh, how to prove it? We need to calculate the importance. Uh, this importance is calculated by its first order derivative. And uh, uh, in for each dimension, we sum, uh, we sum the importance uh, but uh, its corresponding parameters. Every parameter is to sum it. And, uh, to uh, indicate uh, which is the uh, most important or the less important, and we remove the less important uh, 
the dimensions. And this is the input-output dimension pruning. In the input-output dimension, you can regard it as the embedding dimension. The embedding dimension is the same for all blocks, for all blocks. And uh, this is synchronously re re reduced uh, for all blocks, and uh, uh, then the, uh, it, uh, to make sure it is consistent, so we can compute it. The importance is also the same. Uh, we use the uh, summation of uh, all of the importance scores of each corresponding uh, parameters. And uh, uh, in each uh, pruning, after each pruning step, not the stage, after each pruning step, we use uh, a distillation. We, make, we should make sure that uh, the performance does not drop, so we need to enhance its knowledge. And, uh, but uh, the, the traditional distillation loss is not quite useful, useful for, uh, for the enhancement. Uh, so we propose a new one. The, it is to tackle the complexities in sequential token generation, and uh, the improvement. It, it we use uh, we lose the uh, the the distillation loss a, a little bit for better uh, adoption in generative models. <laughs> we our purpose is to ensure the higher confidence, the, hi the higher confidence. Uh, incorrect token predictions of to to ensure the higher confidence for the student model uh, is is okay. So we use this one. This one is to make sure that the uh, the the student let the student to uh, overfit the teacher. Uh, you can you can briefly understand it and to let the student overfit the teacher because we uh, we we think that the teacher is better because we want to. Compress it uh, uh, dramatically, so uh, the we, we we think that the teacher is uh, is great is good enough. And uh, here is our uh, data set. We collect some advertisements and uh, the 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 answer and the problem from our uh, our industrial settings. And here is uh, our parameter. Uh, we uh, the sample the training size is is small, just uh, twelve thousand samples. <coughs> and we deploy it, uh, our pruning method in the, on the GMM. It is a bleep tool like, uh, uh, like multi-model models, and we remove some uh, redundant uh, parameters in this model, in this multi-model model, uh, to in our real-world scenarios. <coughs> Here is our overall performance. Uh, we compress our model from uh, five point uh, five point four billion size to the zero point three billion. It is a dramatically uh, reduce reducement. <laughs> and uh, uh, what's more, the inference efficiency is increased. Uh, the inference is increased. We use the Aten processor, Aten GPU processor, uh, for the inference test. The in for each second, the the samples processed increased dramatically. Uh, about uh, seven times, but the performance uh, uh, does not drop uh, drop a lot, <laughs> and you can see in the it uh, maintains the robust robust performance. And uh, you can see this is the detailed uh, steps uh, for each pro the uh, the performance drop dramatically, and uh, after the distillation, it uh, it it will increase the pro. Distillation, proof distillation, it is a, a step, step details. So the distillation is very crucial. And the model size is, is here. And we found that the block redundancy is the highest, is the highest redundancy. We can remove. So I guess that uh, the most of large language models is much deeper than uh, we, we, we need, I guess. And here is the data fraction. Uh, we we also uh, do some different data fraction tests. We found that uh, in the real world uh, uh, scenarios, uh, the larger sample size will enhance the compression effect large. But we found that the twelve uh, sound samples is okay enough for this scenario. And uh, we also tried uh, other other one stage uh, one stage only. Uh, 
only uh, only um, strategy we found that we if we do only one stage, not the multi stage. If we do uh, the one stage, if we only remove the block uh, one by one and to the model size, we found that uh, also in the mi mi module uh, pruning, we found that even we reduce the the model size, they reduced the accuracy. They are not very good. And we also do the one shot. What is one shot mean? Is that we uh, we do not do the distillation and every pruning uh, step. We do it after pruning all of the redundancies. And we found that the accuracy is not quite good. And here is the distillation ablation. We found that our our distillation uh, enhances the performance a lot. And uh, we also found that soft labels is much more better than the hard labels in our uh, uh, industrial situations. And here is our conclusion and the real world implementation. Uh, so um, in conclusion, in response to the increased uh, latency and the high energy usage uh, initially observed in the on the GMM, we implemented uh, a tailor-reared uh, multi-stage large model compression strategy, significantly enhancing the performance and efficiency. And uh, our, uh, our, <coughs> our strategy has been implemented into the uh, Alipay, the well-known uh, mobile pay applications in the China. Uh, we, we deploy it in the advertisement auditing, audition uh, scenarios and uh, starting from the September last year, and the, the online performance is still maintained uh, compared to the original large language model, and the latency reduced a lot. Uh, the latency is efficiency increased from the 700 uh, million seconds down to the uh, 19, sec 19 million seconds. And the energy saving efficiency is also improved. We save approximately uh, 75 million kilowatts annually. That's all for my representation, thank you.